The solar oven is a great way to learn about solar energy. We also call it renewable energy because the sun puts out far more energy than humans will ever use. And it will keep shining for billions of years to come. You will need a pizza box, glad wrap, tin foil, a knife, scissors, a protractor, masking tape, black cardboard, bubble wrap and an aluminium barbecue tray painted with non-toxic black water-based paint. Now you're going to need to prepare the box. Put masking tape on any gaps or holes. Glue one sheet of foil, shiny side up, along the full length of the box. Try to get it as smooth as you can. Turn over the box and mark out a square. This will be the mirror. Use the ruler to mark in three centimetres from each side. See the dotted line? That's for the hinge, so don't cut that. Now that we have finished cutting out the window of the box, it's time to insulate the bottom. To do this, we're going to get our rolls of newspaper, which we've cut previously, and we're going to wrap them around the bottom of the box like this. Do this for three or four sections until all the walls are surrounded. Fix it in place with masking tape and seal any gaps. If you want, you can insulate the bottom with bubble wrap. The air bubbles trap the heat. Add black coloured card on the bottom of the inside of the box. Then add the black painted aluminium tray and put it over the top of the black card. Now you're going to double glaze the window. On the inside of the box, cover the window you made earlier with glad wrap. Stretch it tight and smooth to fix it in place. Use a little bit of tape at each corner. This helps to hold it in place. Seal all the edges of the window with tape. Close the box, mirror open. Place a piece of paper on the top of the glad wrap window to stop the next layer sticking. Then repeat the previous steps to make a double layer. Stretch it and seal the plastic at the edges. Remember to remove the paper before you seal the last edge. To finish the solar oven, tape on the protractor to make an adjustable angle for the mirror. Use a good lump of blue tack to hold the mirror. Now you've learnt how to make a solar oven. Let's get this thing fired up.